Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're kicking off the first travel vlog of the summer, my first few days in my life of summer too. Um, I am headed to Nashville with one of my best YouTube friends, Devin. I will leave her channel linked here on the screen and down below so that you guys can check her out. Um, and this is going to be my first hotel partnership ever. I'm so excited. And it is currently 4.30 in the morning. Madison is dropping me off at Reagan and we are about to head out. Thank you so much, sister, for driving me. We're about an hour from the airport. Devin's only 15 minutes, so she will be meeting me here fairly soon, but just figured I would say hey and give you guys the scoop. All right, waiting for Devin to get here so we can check in. All right, guys, headed to security. We have made it to our gate. I'm about to eat, which is why I have my mask off. Cliff Bar, thank you. Um, and it is 5.30. We made it through security and like baggage really, really fast. Not even 25 minutes. Yeah. And made it to our gate. This is the smallest airport I've like literally ever been in. Nine gates are all right here. I mean, Reagan's tiny. I've never flown out of here. I feel like it's this terminal. Because the other terminals have like United, American Airlines, all the other Oh ones. yeah, this is only Southwest yeah. and a couple other. Yeah, like from Frontier and Air Canada, I think. First sponsored trip off of the day. I'm wearing Popcorn Converse, black curly socks, Forever 21, white tennis skirt, Spanx, it's got little shorts underneath. This sweatshirt is from uh, pretty little thing. Mask is from Hanes. Earrings are from <laughs> Shein. And then my necklaces are Ana Luisa, bracelets are Ana Luisa, rings are Ana Luisa. Devin? Outfit of the day. Outfit of the day. Skirt from Girlfriend Collective. Oh, it's Girlfriend Shoes. Shoes, Hoka. Skirt, Girlfriend Collective. Sports bra, Girlfriend Collective. What's this? Um, Zip-up hoodie, airy. Mask. Amazon. I will fly at 6.30 a.m. every day, if it means that this is the view. I mean, it's really anticlimactic here Wait, on camera. turn your brightness down. Can you guys see this? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ah. When it's just me and you, we think of everything in blue. Update. Luggage has been gotten. It was 45 pounds. And whoever said to wear the skirt. You're dead wrong. You are dead wrong. <laughs> it is so cold out. We've been waiting for this Uber for like 35 minutes. Our vlogs are going to be the exact same. And it's going to cost too much for me to be sitting outside freezing, shaking in my boots. Hello guys. <laughs> We're here for a good time, not a it's long not time. A long time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have arrived at the Gallatin. It looks so cute. It's so colorful along the front, but we cannot check in until 4:30. But we are gonna drop our luggage off here and then kind of wander around. An explore! Are you so excited? I'm so excited! Look how stinking cute it is. Alright y'all, I've changed and now I am wearing still my Converse because we're going to be doing some walking. I've got on cow print pants from Rocky, I've got the cuffs and then a white little tank from Forever 21. It's a little chilly out still so I am going to throw on the little black sweatshirt that I was wearing earlier from Pretty Little Thing. Um, and then I've got another outfit packed in my long champ as well as my computer because Devin and I are going to head downtown. We're not close enough to walk, which is kind of a bummer because we do have to Uber to get down there. It's about four miles, but like it's on the highway, so it's not like you can walk, you know? So that part is kind of a downfall, but um, oh well, we're making the most of it. Devin's taking me to barista parlor. 
She's been here before. Look at how cute it is. Really we just had the nicest Uber too. He was really precious. All right, Devin was not lying. It's so stinking cute in here. Literally everything is a photo op. So cute. Someone said breakfast bagel Sammy, obviously. No cream cheese today. I kind of have regretted it already, but everything bagel, scrambled eggs, a very sad looking piece of bacon, and cheddar cheese that's not melted. So I will keep you posted. I don't drink coffee tea, you know, but I do drink ice water out of a sippy cup lid for free. <laughs> Devin got an iced latte yes. and some sort of scrambled breakfast burrito. It has eggs tater tots, I think, in chorizo. Yum. And it has this really good we, sauce. We just took pictures on this wall. The lighting is amazing over here. I feel like you didn't think it was going to be good, but it was amazing. I took one. Like, I wasn't even planning <laughs> on it, and I was like, fine. If you insist, it's we're still at Barista Parlor. Yeah. I'd probably give my bagel sandwich. Honestly, a six. I, don't, I, don't I have had much better bagel sandwiches. It wasn't bad, but for $9, I mean, I could have done way better. But still good. It was still still yummy but anywho we've been outside it's finally warming up a little bit it's actually kind of hot right now um but we've been sitting out here just getting some work done responding to emails just kind of catching up because like i said we've got some time to kill and it's just you know we're kind of here on business too there's lots of people outside a lot of people like on their work break and stuff but we're gonna head out because i need a photo in my cow print pants so all right stopping in the express it's been so long since i've shopped my express monthly campaign in person and they have one and i was like oh i just got my hundred dollar gift card yesterday i love this two-piece set but i am in dire need of denim shorts so that is what i am picking up because they're buy one get 150 off today now look, both pairs were just a little too big, but here's a full look at my fit. Okay, I just tried on these two and both fit me really nicely, so I'm going to grab them while they're buy one, get one 50 off. I will try to leave them linked down below, but here are the names of them. Both of them are mom shorts. I'm getting a double zero regular. I wish they had one size down. I would have gotten those instead, but oh well, a belt will do. We're in the cutest little store called E. Allen. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back in a different outfit so I can take a picture there. The infamous wings. Here they are. I was honestly expecting a line because I saw a TikTok the other day that had a long- There was a line when we went into the store cute see I just took a picture on them but I mean with my cow print pants it's not really a vibe but figured I would at least show you where is this the gulch the gulch case you want to come Devin has taken me into the most hillbilly vintage store I've ever been in they've got all kind of Levi's stopping for a little ice cream I'm getting the salted peanut butter and then the Savannah butter mint. But we went to Jenny's ice cream. We're on 27th South now, right? 12th, 12th South. 12th South, sorry guys, my memory's not that good. Um, but we went to Jenny's ice cream. We walked really <laughs> long for this, so. <laughs> Um, and it's gonna we be just worth had a it. bad situation with Yeah, with the Uber was just a pain in the butt. But anyways, this is the best waffle cone I've ever had in my life. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10, and I do not give 10s often. Alrighty, everybody, we have made it. 4.30 check-in. This is what our room looks like. It's super cute. 
We got, I believe it's the King Economy, Devin said. She's on this side. I'm over here, you have a Keurig in here. We've got a couple of waters. It looks very comfy. TV's on, I don't really know what's playing right now. But you've got nice little lamp, cute little chair, and then I love this kind of door. What are these, these are like sliding, barn, barn doors sliding barn, barn doors. Here we are, Madison was like, you need to bring your steamer, Mackenzie. And guess what, they have a steamer and they have a hair dryer, so I didn't need to bring one. Look at how cute the shower is. Oh my gosh. I love that. And they have shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. Like all those cute little containers. Fun. It's a pretty spacious bathroom for um, the size of the room. I like it. I'm digging it. Here we are. How are you loving your stay so far? <laughs> I'm loving it. All right, I gotta lay down for a couple minutes or 30. I need to charge my phone. Devin's gonna take a body shower because we gotta look cute for dinner, guys. I mean, that's the whole point, right? That's the vibe. So we're gonna vibe check. Dressed and ready for dinner. Waiting for another Uber. It's about $15 every time to Uber back into town. Today was only 10. Today was 10. Just now, Devin yeah, said. All right, there. Devin, hold this so I can show them my outfit of the day. Top is from Fashion Nova. So are my jeans, two little bell bottoms. Wearing new heels from Walmart. Earrings are from Walmart. And I'm wearing all the same jewelry from Ana Luisa. Stinking cute. We are seated at the second floor. So here we go. Look at this ray of sunshine. My beautiful dinner date. We are at, I've said 50 times where we are. <laughs> Do you guys know we're at the Hampton Central right now? Yeah, that is where we are. And we just ordered shrimp tacos. We will keep you posted when they are here. But I want to let you guys know that the dress code is a little bit fancier than what we're wearing. I will give you full outfit details down below when I'm done. Um, but definitely more of a dress if you are wearing denim, white denim kind of vibe. Not flares, but I still look cute. But like, you know, there's plenty of other tourists here, but here. Definitely like a, this is like a Hampton. Like, we probably should have known that with Hamptons in the title. But you know, we're just faking it till we make it. There's a gorgeous view of the arch back here. But I don't know if you can really see it. I'm kind of starting to understand why these are $18 because they are huge and the shrimp are gigantic. But oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. I don't know where to start. Should I try to vlog myself? Okay, atmosphere, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. We knew this. It was really, really cute once it like got dark. Like, very good mood lighting. Yes, but I would say, as far as the atmosphere goes, jeans are not, I feel not like, the it. move. I Skirt, think it's, nicer pants, maybe, dress, romper. I think old money. Okay, the food. This is a hard one because, first of all, they're $18 tacos. So I personally am, it, for three tacos, I personally no cannot, side. yeah, no side. That's running $6 a taco. Like so you need, a you, need a taco. you need to send me to heaven and back. But I didn't get that. No. Um, and I'm we so, were so spicy. And like, my, I literally felt like my lips were the size of a watermelon. And I feel like I can like handle some, some cake, spice, yeah. but the jalapeno, holy cow. So, long story short, five out of 10. Five, 
five. You were gonna give it a six. I, I was, but the more I thought about it, the more it ruminated for me. Five. I'm gonna give it a six. The tacos were just, I have a lot of experience with shrimp tacos and I have just definitely have had better. They were not bad, but I prefer like a more tropical taco and these were definitely like a spicier taco. But they had huge shrimp and I had like huge. seven shrimp in this each big. taco. So if you're gonna give me seven jumbo shrimp in each taco, then I get why it's $18. I actually like the shower because when I got out, it wasn't steamy at all in here. Yeah. And... I think the door kind of... Even the fan, it just keeps going constantly. Yeah, so the shower was good. Um, I didn't wash my hair, and I just changed into a cowboy's tee. I really wish I had brought a sweatshirt or sweatpants because it's a little chilly in here. But, oh well. See you in the morning. I squat her in a sippy cup lid. It hits different because I'm convinced. Cheers. Introduce yourself. Say hi. I'm Zoe. And tell them how you know Devin. I know Devin through Clubhouse. That's so true. Classic friendship. I haven't, I haven't been on Clubhouse it's really ever. Fun. Get on. It's Follow me. Zoe okay. Bang. I think Cheers. It started to Everyone. Die down, but I love it. We're outside the Islamic Center because they have picnic tables here. <laughs> All right. Here's a bagel unboxing. It's very, very sunny, sorry guys. But it's oh, beautiful this out is so today. Good. Holy shit. Wow, this looks so delicious. This is like the weirdest thing I could have ordered. Tomato, feta, basil, bacon, and egg. But it just, the guy convinced me. I am so swayed by like, the register people, like what they or say, I'll do anything. So if you recommend me something, I probably will get it. Yeah. Because like, obviously I don't want breakfast rating. I would okay. say mine was a 10 Yours 10. was a 10? Yeah. I'm gonna give today an eight. It was significantly better than <laughs> yesterday, but I, I, like I took the guy's recommendation. It was really good. Definitely more of a brunch vibe than a breakfast sandwich. Yeah. Okay, what do you rate yours on 10? Um, you know what, I'm gonna give it a six. It was, well, we're about to have a blast, so. <laughs> She got everything bagel with avocado. But so many people recommended we stop by Amelia's flower truck. So here we are. It's not, where are we? 12 South? Look at how cute it is. <laughs> the Draper James. Very cute. We haven't been inside, but this is the classic. I believe in Nashville. This will probably be in the thumbnail. It's really good lighting when you, when it's direct sunlight. It really is. We're here at what time of day? Um, it is 11.24. 11.24. Perfect, perfect lighting moment here. We just came into the cutest store called Finley's. They have a little Hello Gorgeous sign. I think I'm going to take a picture in. So many trendy, cute pieces. If you're looking for um, like touristy kind of merch, that's actually cute. Come here. They have so many cute t-shirts and I love this champion one. But I really, 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 really want this specific graphic because look, it's holding a baseball bat. And they have it in sweatshirt version too. I just changed outfits behind this dumpster. 
Um, we are like way in the back of Frothy Monkey where we had breakfast. There is this adorable little Nashville looks good on you sign. And I have been dying to take a photo in this little pink set. So I really set the tone. This is where I changed. Um, you know, no worries. But Devin just took the most amazing photos of me. She's putting up with my bullshit and she's taking pictures of me everywhere on her phone. Okay, because listen, I have the XR. You look so cute and coordinated. I know. Okay, so I have the XR, Devin has the 11, and the quality difference is unreal and they're only a couple phones apart yeah i don't i haven't used my nikon once i brought my nikon like my big camera that's what i take all my blog photos on and honestly like it's just not it's but you not should get the, the one with the three cameras i know so i can't upgrade until black friday time but i'm i am tempted to just like pay the difference on my own because i really do see it as like a business investment 100%. if you are able to take like really high quality honestly better than the dslr pictures yeah when you're like on trips like this but regardless this set's from shein i've saved it for like two years i get questions on it um not all the time because i have not posted <laughs> it but on my live so many of you asked it's from shein and my heels I'm walking around 12th South in, in clear heels, so let's just think about that. I just went into marine layer, and it was so cute. Very expensive, but sustainable. Look how adorable this little thing comes. Coming spring, summer 2021. Stony cover lane. I will admit, I have nothing from Madewell, but I do stop in every one I come across because they have the cutest stuff. I also just changed back into my flares outfit. You know what, I'd have to ask Craig, he's kind of- There's just no graceful that, way to open you know? up the door. We just cannot stop I'm eating. Oh, I went to Christy Cookie, right? Yeah. We're just gonna eat right here. Three dollars a cookie, but yeah. look at them. All right, I'm gonna try the white chocolate first. Devin? I'm gonna try chocolate chip. Cheers. Cheers. Worth three dollars. I'd give the white chocolate a ten. Let's try the s'mores. Wait, now this is Rocky Road. Mmm. I'd probably give this one a nine. Good, but a little, a little different consistency. Devin, how's your? I'd give this one a ten out of ten. All right, y'all, I was finally able to connect to the Wi-Fi and I just spent some time sifting through emails. I'm processing a video to YouTube right now and Devin and I just looked up a bunch of different places and we kind of came up with an itinerary for the next two days. We really should have done this before we left and really like thought out what we were doing, but we haven't, but it's okay because we're learning. And they also had this little like guest guide in each of the rooms and there are so many good recommendations in here and it's all split up by like different sections so east nashville they have downtown they have the gulch which we went to yesterday they have 12 south which is where we were today so we kind of just looked up a couple of places based off of things we want to do so like tomorrow we want to go to the grand Ole opry so we found a place that's gonna be near that and you know, we game plans. We game plan, guys. We're back in business tomorrow. But tonight we are going to a really good burger place, according to Devin. She's been here before. Um, so that's what we're gonna try out. I'm a little overdressed, as per usual. But here's my outfits, okay? I am wearing one of these like little scarves that ties around the neck. This is from Princess Polly, a little risky. If you were going to the bars in Nashville, this would be the perfect outfit. So I've been told by my followers who helped me choose my outfit over on my Instagram live, but obviously I'm not 21, so we can't go to the bars. We really wanted to eat at Dirk Bentley um, tonight, but they said that you can't get in after 3 p.m. if you are underage. So we're gonna go for lunch tomorrow, which is perfect because we still want to go this place. So Princess Polly, my jeans are from Express. I've got on cute little heels from Lulu's, and then my earrings are really old from Walmart. Rings are the same from Ana Luisa. I also wanted to mention, because I was reading about it in this little guide, that this hotel actually like gives back to, like ev for every stay, it says giving back. Originally home to East Side Church of Christ, this building has served the East Nashville community by providing refuge 
safety and belonging to people in need since 1925. We love this legacy and believe in paying it forward. That is why we've decided to expand our Rooms for Rooms program to the Gallatin. We give away a generous percentage of each night's, each night's stay to local nonprofits who are helping those experiencing homelessness here in Nashville. All of these organizations love Nashville's homeless community by providing a safe place to find relief, resources, and the support of a community. So I think that's so awesome. Not only are you staying and getting a good experience yourself, but you're giving back to people who don't have a safe place to stay. So think about that, you know, when you're booking your Nashville stays. They also do that at their sister hotels, which are the Russell Nashville and 506 Lofts. So just so you know. We're at the pharmacy for dinner. Do you like popular or nerdy boys, Goddess? I feel like I like nerdy boys, but I date the popular. Well, that's what I have. But I like dating people who are much more, like, out there than me. Look at how many tank tops this is. Look at this burger. I just got bacon cheddar. Evan so got good. the chipotle. Ch oh, I was gonna get this, so hopefully it's good. She'll, yeah, you can have some. She'll report back to you. Sweet potato fries. The vibes in here already. I'm giving it 10. All right, this place right here is one of the easiest 10 out of 10s I've ever given. Wow. Very cute. It is right next to Moss Tacos too, which we're gonna try. I think tomorrow. Yeah, we'll definitely try that. But yeah, get the bacon cheddar burger here. Or what did you get? I got the Chipotle chicken. And what do you rate it? 10 out of 10. With sweet chicken potato was fries. Tender, delicious. The aioli was great. Well seasoned. I did have to add a little bit of salt to the fries. But I saw everything. really good. Not only would I give this place a 10 out of 10, I would go as far as to say this was in the top five burgers I've ever had in my life. In, the in my really life, and the atmosphere is incredible. Come here, so good. Going home. Besties, we just sat outside and talked. <laughs> All we do is talk. For like two hours. We've talked for like two hours, like six times today. <laughs> 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 but anywho, I took a shower and I washed my hair and I used the lip. They have a Dyson hair dryer in every single room here. And I used it and my hair is a little frizzy right now because I use like really random shampoo. But I definitely think with a little bit of product, I would not need to style my hair. I would just go out like this, but it's a little frizzy, like I said, because, you know, but I'm having a slumber party with my bestie. Slumber party vibes. Bestie for the restie. Catch you in the morning. Oh, the bed here is just so comfy. It is 9 a.m. Slept in a little bit today because we have a jam-packed afternoon slash evening plan look at my hair you can tell i slept good but um yeah very cozy beds here we're in the king economy i think i've said but anyhow let's get ready for the day forget about all types of things you remind me of the arizona thunder satisfy the times and make you wonder about the tell my hair and makeup is done I was walking outside to just take a couple pictures of like the main space the front entrance and I ran into the woman who manages the collaborations who I've been in contact with staying here at the Gallatin and she offered to take me downstairs to the first floor and show me a bunch of the different rooms the spaces and stuff so I'm gonna give you guys a little peek the first floor is all suites so ideally these rooms are going to be booked for bachelor Rets, bridal showers, um, bridal parties, because that little area that I thought was going to be a bar is actually going to be a wedding venue. And it's going to be a hall that people can rent out. And so this is like the perfect place to stay because it's right next door and they've got you hooked up. Makeup rooms, living space, so many cute like photo ops in here as well. So I'm in the largest room that they have here. This one sleeps, it honestly could sleep 16 because they are full beds, but I believe only eight people can stay in this room I'm not 100% sure I'll have to double check on that, but look at this area guys like I wish 
I wish I knew eight people to book this space. I mean, look at it. So much counter space. They've got little like chairs for the bar. And then we've got a huge little living area and so much natural light comes in because this looks out into their little patio area, which you can go sit and drink at. You could obviously have like a little picnic moment. Devin and I are gonna go out there later today. But look, okay, so when you walk down this little hallway, you've got a half bathroom right here. And then once you lead through here, so both of these rooms are bunk style, but they are full beds. This might be a king, my bed sizes, no, this is a full bed. But they've got four full bunk beds. So she said ideally, like maybe your girls would stay on one side and then through here, you've got four more. I mean, look at this guys. How fun, and all of the ceilings are painted cool colors. So very aesthetically pleasing in here. I mean, there's photo ops literally everywhere. And then through here, you've got the most amazing little bathroom area. So these showers are so stinking cute, look. And they've got those little hearts, which we love. And then you've got another one over here, matching style. Here I am, still in my PJs because I was literally just walking out to grab some water and like I said, a couple of photos. But you can obviously draw these curtains. Another little area. And then I'll show you the bathroom in this half because it's a little different. This one has only got one shower but it's red and white. And did I mention that every single room comes with a Dyson hair dryer? I mean, that right there like sells me. I hate bringing hair dryers when I'm on vacation. I always just use the crappy one, but this one's a Dyson, so it's such a treat. I actually used it last night before I went to bed, like I said, and I curled my hair this morning, but oh my gosh. So here is the rest of your little bathroom countertop space. And she's letting me go into a couple of the other suites down here and give you guys a little tour there. So let's go see the rest of them. fun areas we're just today has really been the we vibe. love this because we felt so guilty yesterday but now i feel like we are because we had a much chiller afternoon we're here to do what we were supposed to do yeah. and I, I feel fulfilled right now we're really creating stuff that i think that the hotel like we're, we're love it's we're for serving them. we're yeah. serving both purposes yeah. you guys ourselves and them so yeah. devin's gonna help me take Wait, some this picks. is the first time our outfits have actually like kind of been a tad bit coordinated. Too bad. Too bad for that one. Too bad. Okay. So, and the road.
Should I do one swirling or no? Yes. Are you with my hands up? Can we do this in the sun? Because it's not in your face. I'm telling you, the sun on your skin looks amazing. It doesn't, definitely. Sure. Do you like the skin? Wow, you really did it. Another fit change. We are headed to Dirk Bentley to eat. Yeah. Cheers. Told. It really hasn't it's felt overwhelming. It hasn't felt like we've been in a city or like around anyone until now. And it's hopping down here. Unfortunately, Dirks won't let me in because I'm not 21. So we're trying to find a place that we can eat. Holy cow, it looks so fun up here. Like it's packed here. Look at all those rooftops. We had to stop in a little tchotchke store first. Madison has requested that I buy her a little boot keychain. I think I'm gonna go with this one because she's not answering, but they have so many like little fun souvenirs in here. I also really like these ones, but I don't know. moseyed downstairs because we were starving. Devin got pepperoni, pepperoni flatbread, flatbread, which is really just a fancy way of saying pizza. And then I got another cheeseburger because the man said that it was his favorite thing, so naturally we trust him. Vibes are right down here. Dusty Armadillo could never, could never. Little Michael and Sam, if you were here, we'd be vibing. I miss you guys. Mwah. Someone make Miss Shan Scott famous. I mean, really? Really? Woo! I was feeling bold and I requested some Cody Johnson. So naturally, he's playing that song. Diamond in my pocket. I got a diamond in my pocket and a baby's got a heart. watching live music and Jason Aldean, we have ventured out and we are going to go up to the pedestrian bridge. We've got the symphony or something next to us that's gorgeous. And I just attempted to take a photo in these fringe pants. I'm not sure I got the shot, but I spent a lot of time trying to. <laughs> Your earrings just kept falling My off. My earrings kept falling off because I was trying You're to get it. being a, bombarded. I really wanted a cross the road shot, but I just don't think my phone can take like that kind of photo, but oh well. We're venturing up to see the, see the sights. Look at that view, baby. Titan Stadium's right here. Devon's right here. This is a really far drop in the Cumberland River. Comment below, is this part of the Cumberland Gap? Devin wants to know. Uh, I'm, I'm wanting to know. Comment down below if you guys know what the Cumberland Gap is because I feel like this is a part of the Cumberland Gap. Waiting on our Uber, $26. <laughs> Anyways, I just met a subscriber, guys. She didn't tell me her name, but if it was you, thank you for saying hi. Um, but look, I just, I'm really vibing, guys, with Nashville. We got our boarding passes for tomorrow, and we just changed to revive check-in before dinner. Um, here's what I'm wearing. We're going to get tacos. I really hope this is not a pickup place and that we can sit down, but Dev says maybe it's not, but... Anywho, this was not the outfit I planned on wearing. I had like leather shorts to go with this, but I just am not in the mood to wear shorts. So I'm wearing this fringe top from Shein. I have a lot of my stomach on display. Like I would prefer shorts, but I just, oh well, forget about it. I'm wearing Fashion Nova jeans that I've already worn. And then white boots from Shein. Earrings are from Walmart. Okay, so we're at Moss Tacos and 
different vibe than I expected. You have to sit outside, you order up at the window, and there is um, no chips and salsa. So I'm docking at points already for that. <laughs> But it's okay, guys. Before you even try it. Before I even try it, we'll let you know. I got two of the chicken. So the verdict <laughs> is <laughs> the verdict is Moss Tacos was I an appetizer. It. it was literally an appetizer. It wasn't bad. It just was definitely not what I was hoping for, craving, or it just didn't. It was not even close to our experience at the pharmacy. So we're coming here to eat something else. All right, we got that chicken pesto, Sammy. Tater tots unlocked. Dinner for two. This is part two, our tacos for the app, baby. That is so good. Birthday vibes. Cheers. Shine, everybody. It is Saturday, our last day here in Nashville. How are you feeling, Devin? I'm feeling reflective. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling sad. Because I really enjoyed my time here. Yeah. But regardless, we are dressed and ready for the day because we have to check out of here at 10.30. And we've got a busy day planned. I don't know if you're going to be able to see my outfit here, but you can't see my head, but you can see my fit. So my top is from Shein. It's the same top that I was wearing yesterday, but I didn't get a picture in it. And this was the intended outfit for the top. So shorts are also from Shein. They're leather. My cowbell was from Princess Polly, and then I've got on my little white boots today. Fun, we are gonna head over to this pet store because they have a cow print wall. And I think that it's gonna be very cute with this outfit. And then there's a little deli that we wanna check out um, too. We're gonna just sit down and do some computer just work. Just put our luggage in luggage storage. That's really nice that they let you leave that there all day. But we are going to stroll over to What's this place called? The coffee shop, who knows. We have made it to the wall. This is Scout's Pet Store. And now I just want to do one in portrait, like a do more of like a details. Wall Mackenzie. Concord. Concord. Right across from that little pet store was Slow Hand Coffee. Devin really needs an iced coffee, she said. And it's really, really cute in here. How is the iced coffee? Oh, okay, no. Latte review. It's amazing. This is probably the best. I actually would say this is the best one. So I what like would you give thicker, it? Thicker coffees. I would give this 10 out of 10. Alright, we just grub hubbed some bagel sammies. We are in the coolest vintage store in the world. They have so many cool things. Jewelry, hats, boots. Look at those sunglasses. Y'all, this deli is just, I can already tell that this is, this is the vibe. It's like hole in the wall vibe. Yes, and it's boar's head deli meat. So like, I got a bagel sandwich, but I definitely could have gotten a regular sandwich too. The best part about this is that we got it through Red Club, so we didn't have to, I had a, like, I still have money left on my gift card from collabing with them, which is very encouraging because we have spent um, we've spent a dollar on this trip. Um, in pretty reality, penny. a pretty penny. But you know, it's okay. It happens, and it's we we knew that going into it. Regardless, wow. do you see that steam coming out? Because I I see it. Holy shit, that looks delicious. In order to really maximize content opportunities here. I have just been changing like left and right pretty much after like every event. I brought my long champ because it's my biggest bag and it's really easy to fit another outfit in. So I'm literally just in the bathroom of this deli and I just changed into this little denim jumpsuit from 
Fashion Nova and white boots from Express. I've got on little hoops and my cowboy hat's gonna go with this. Honestly, you just kind of have to get over the factor of like people looking at you and staring. I mean, everyone that was in that deli is gonna know that I just changed, but anything for a good pick. So here we go. I just realized I never rated, but I look pretty right here, wow. <laughs> Um, hype yourself up, ladies. I would give myself, I, myself, I would give my meal. A, what would you give yourself? <laughs> I'd give myself a 10 today. But um, I'd give this place a nine. It was definitely the best bagel that I've had here. I've still had better, but it was pretty good. Good little hole in the wall. But there's been a lot of foot traffic in here. People coming in now. Devin, what would you give it? 10 out of 10 as well. I really um, appreciate it. I give it a nine. I appreciate Oh, you gave it a nine. I, would, I appreciated the egg because it seemed like just real, real. not microwaved. And then I like the cream yeah. cheese on the side. Yes, cream cheese always. Blueberry bagel, cream cheese, scrambled egg, cheddar, bacon. Ultimate bagel sandwich order. Thank me later. Cheers. Okay, lots of recommendations for the listening room. So many people said like new up and coming artists plus food, so that's what we're doing. Yeehaw! All right, we've made it. Hush, hush, don't make your mama blush, blush, sweeping under the rug. Just got my picture and my outfit. My photographer has been on her grind. City girl on the move. <laughs> this outfit's getting me lots of random stops and compliments from strangers. So I would call this my best one yet. It is literally followed Miss Girl to Taco Bell because she said she had another set and we loved her so much. So here we are, we're about to listen to her. And this one has the window open. We're on like a side street of Broadway. This is literally a Taco Bell that serves alcohol, guys. Yeah. and we are able to like access our luggage even though we checked out this morning. So I am changing into this black fringe set and my little black and white dingo cowboy boots real quick because this was my last of the 13 outfits and I feel like I might as well just take advantage and grab a photo since we have a little bit of time before we head to the airport. Last footage in the Gallatin before we head out. Feeling loved, feeling grateful guys. I mean, we've had a really, really awesome stay. They've been so accommodating and I really just enjoy the vibe of this place. So I'll do a full little sit down when I get back, but just change back into the t-shirt and shorts I was wearing for a little bit yesterday. This is what I'm gonna wear to the airport. But before we head out, Seven and I are going to be taking one last photo of me <laughs> right outside of the front entrance. I love the little Gallatin. This outside just gives off the best beach house like vibes, which is so weird because we're in Nash, but Goodbye, yeah. Music City. Goodbye, Music City. Thank you, sir. Alright, 
boarding pass printed. Time to check bags. Through security in 10 minutes. Nice little view. Let's go. Let's go. Let's walk to our gate. We're in D, I think six. to my luggage I'm sitting in the lobby no one's here which is why I have my mask off but waiting for our Madison to get here but I'm actually gonna end this vlog off here we had such an awesome trip thank you to the Gallatin for sponsoring us and letting us stay there I hope that this is the first of many many summer travels or just travels in general I feel like I've learned so much this week I will definitely talk more about the trip and learning the experience all that kind of stuff in general within the next um, few videos and stuff and then make sure you're following me on instagram at style by mckenna so that you don't miss out on more photos because i've got so many instagram photos stockpiled from this trip that you'll be seeing soon love you guys thanks so much for supporting the dream and i'll talk to you in my next video